the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things he'll do, you can do, if you so desire, to try this at home with Mr. T. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm your host, Mr. G, and this is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Well, what are we going to do today that's rather extraordinary? We are going to create voltage out of ordinary household fruit. We're going to be making electricity from fruit. You could also use vegetables. I'm using lemons today to make electricity, but you could use a potato or several potatoes. Um, whatever's more convenient for you. They work probably just about as well. What else are we going to need other than lemons or potatoes? We're going to need some zinc coated screws. Pretty much any silver colored screw would be zinc coated. And some lengths of heavy copper wire. This is like 12 gauge copper wire that I've cut into about 3 inch lengths. Um, I've also got some electrical tape, some wire cutters, things that you need to get things prepared. I've also got some leads here, some electrical leads with alligator clips at the end. So wire with alligator clips at the end. I've got several of those. I don't know how many we'll actually need. I've got a light emitting diode to prove that we're generating electricity from lemons. I've also got a Christmas tree bulb from just like one of those long sets of Christmas lights. And I've got another LED here that I've attached two wires onto with alligator clips at the end. And one of those alligator clips has a resistor. Now you can find a resistor in about any electronic component. Um, a resistor impedes the amount of current that can flow into this light emitting diode or LED. Um, I want to show you that these LEDs do light up. They will not light up with a one and a half volt battery source, but with two one and a half volt batteries or two AAA batteries, they will light up. Now I'm using my limiting resistor so I don't blow up my LED. Now can you see that? It's lighting up. Let me, let me aim it toward you so you can actually see it light up. There, it's lit. See that light up? Pretty cool, huh? Now, I could also just take my standard LED and hook it to a, this battery set, but it may actually draw too much current and it could actually explode, believe it or not. Now, do you need a resistor? No, you won't need a resistor. Don't worry about that. I just wanted to show you that the LED lit. This is a voltmeter, a digital voltmeter. Now, let's see how many volts that two AA batteries have in them. Let me zoom you in a little closer here. See, here we go. We're zooming, zooming. That'll be good. Hopefully you can see this meter just fine. I've got it propped up. And right now it's reading, let me see. Right now that's reading 0.39 volts. Let's hook up our two AA batteries that are in series, or these are actually AAA. And it should measure, yeah, a little over three volts. 3.13 volts is what that says there. Okay, a single AAA battery should measure right around 1.5 volts. Probably a little higher because these are very fresh batteries. So I'm hooking my leads up to this battery and 1.5 volts. Now, Christmas tree light. Let's see if that will light with these batteries. I'm going to hook up onto the Christmas tree bulb. I'm going to hook up my alligator clips. And then, let me see here's the green one, here's the yellow one. We're going to take our Christmas tree bulb and lay it up here on top of our lemons just to start with so you can see it light. I'm going to hook it first to the one single battery. Hopefully you can see this. And it does light up, but it's very dim. We're going to hook it to the two batteries in, a, in series, or end to end, positive to negative, and so on. And it lights up. Now that will light up either direction with the batteries, because it has no polarity. See that? The LED, on the other hand, did have a polarity, and it would only light, let me prop it up here on our lemons so you can see this, and I'm going to light it with um, the, the two AAA batteries. If I hook it forwards, the green's the negative, and the white I've made the positive. If I hook it up properly, with the proper polarity, the LED should light. And sure enough, it does light up. So batteries will light up our LED. See that? Now, do you think we can get the lemons to light the LED or the Christmas bulb? Let's find out. Let me pull you back out a little bit. We're going to start out with a zinc screw. I'm going to take a zinc screw, and I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to take one of my lemons, and I'm going to kind of squish it so it's nice and juicy inside between my hands like this. There we go. We're going to take one of our zinc screws and we're going to screw it right down into the top of the lemon at a little bit of an angle towards the center, like that. Then we're going to take a length of copper wire and we're going to shove it into the other side like that. Now, is this going to create voltage? We'll bring you back in so you can see the voltmeter well and we'll find out. 
Now remember, it took about three volts to light that LED. I told you the one and a half volt battery would not light the LED. How many volts are we getting now on the voltmeter? Let me stand up and see. Ooh, we're getting a little over one volt. So this is actually generating voltage. So let's take another battery, or another lemon, I should say, and let's put, let's first squish it good. Now let's put another zinc screw into it and another length of copper. There we go. And let's put those like that end to end. Actually, we want it to be copper, zinc, copper, zinc. Now let's hook up our voltmeter by first of all putting a wire between these two. Let me get a little heavier wire so I've got a bigger alligator lead. Oh, I thought I had it. Here's one of the black one. One of the bigger ones. So that this alligator clip will go around the screw easily. We're going to take it here, that end, well, actually I'm sorry, no, we want to put these in series just like we did the two batteries taped together. So this is kind of like the same two batteries that were taped together. We're going to take one over to the other. So you're going to copper, zinc, and then a jumper wire over to the copper to the zinc there. Now the zincs are negative and the coppers are positive. Let's see how many volts we get now. I'll touch this to here, and to here, and Ooh, we're getting 2.03 volts, so a little over 2 volts. Hmm, that may be enough to light our LED. Let's find out. I'm not going to use the resistor because I'm going to make sure that it's got full power. The white was the positive. Let's see here. And here we go. The negative. Let's see if it lights. It doesn't. It does not light the LED. Now, will it light the Christmas tree bulb? Let's find out. There's our Christmas tree bulb. Doesn't matter about polarity on the bulb that's incandescent. An incandescent bulb doesn't have a polarity, so we don't worry about that. Will it light? No, no light whatsoever. So, let's add yet another cell to our battery. Shall we? I'm going to leave this plate up there. Let's take our zinc screw. Let me zoom back out a little bit so you can watch me do this. There we go. I'm going to take another zinc screw and I'm going to push it into this one right here. There we go. Screw it down into the lemon. Now, I forgot to squish it, that's okay. It'll be plenty juicy. I think I squished these a little earlier. And then the copper right there. So now this, let's make sure it's generating voltage. Let me make sure here. Hold on, folks. And look, is it? Yeah, about 0.95 volts. So we're gonna take this, and now we're gonna put this in series. We're gonna take, put it in series with this one. So what we've got is positive, negative, and then the negative over to this positive, this negative over to this positive, so we've got three elevens in series now. Let's see how many volts that generates, shall we? Okay, I think that you can see both elevens in the voltmeter. Okay, negative, let's stand up and see myself. Positive, 2.84 volts. That might be enough to light one of these lights. Let's try our LED first. So, why am I not using the limiting resistor? Because I don't think these are going to generate enough current to really matter, and it may actually impede the lighting of the LED. Hmm. Still no LED. We may not have enough voltage to do anything. So let's try our fourth lemon. Let me squeeze that good. Okay, let me put our screw down into it here. Zinc coated screw. And a piece of copper wire. I sure hope this works. Hope it doesn't. We're gonna put this one. Actually, I almost knocked down our voltmeter. Put this one clear over here at this side. Oh, wrong way. And we're gonna put a jumper wire between them as well. There's another jumper wire. I'm gonna go take this negative lead here over to this positive lead here. Okay. Now it's our last chance. Let's see if we can get this LED to light. Okay, let's first see how much voltage we have on our voltmeter. So even if the LED doesn't light, we still know that we're creating voltage. Ready? Here we go. How many volts do we have? Plate, I don't need you anymore. Whoops, knock down the voltage. Okay. How many volts do we have? Three and a half volts. So we got three and a half volts of electricity here. I sure hope that lights this LED. Let's find out, shall we? Yes, it is lighting the LED. What I'm going to have to do to show you this, though, because it's a very dim light. It's not enough current to really give us a lot of light, 
So what I'm gonna do to show this to you is I'm gonna dim the lights here in the room. Okay, now we're kind of in a darker room. Let's find out. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna really zoom in on this LED so you can see it light up. Here we go. There's the LED. And there you go. Do you see it lighting? It's very dim, but it is lighting up. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna zoom in even closer to make sure you can see it. Ready? Here we come. We're really gonna get in close. Okay, I think I've got it to where you can see it. And here we go. You see it lighting up? Look at that. And it's lighting up just from go. I see it. It's lighting up just from our battery here. To prove that, let me show you. I've got nothing in the way here, just the, just the four lemons. And here we go again. And there we go. Hopefully you can see that that's lighting up even from that distance. It's not as bright as with the battery, but it is lighting up. Let's see now if it'll light the Christmas tree light. I kind of doubt if it's going to light an incandescent bulb, but we're going to try it anyway. Here we go. Hope it works. Here goes. I can get my leads untangled. There we go. It might work and it might not. So we're gonna find out. But this is enough voltage to power. No, there's not enough current to light the Christmas tree bulb. But that's okay. Can you turn the lights back on? Hold on a second. lights are back on and let me zoom back out here we have our lemon battery it's a four cell lemon battery and actually I think you might get better results with a potato we'll find out if you try give that a try you can uh, you can write it to me and let me know so we did it let's see how many volts how many volts that is again see our voltmeter there we go awesome and we lit an LED, a light emitting diode with just four lemons. This is incredible. What can you power with this? You could actually power something like a little digital clock module, an LCD clock module, liquid crystal diode would be able to be powered with this. A small liquid crystal operated calculator would be able to be powered with this. How long will this power last? I've heard people say that their lemon batteries have lasted weeks, actually weeks. So, I hope you had a great time today, and I want to bring something else up real quick. Check out my website, I've revamped it. The website is back up and running, and it's got some pretty cool stuff on it. You can play some classic arcade games, you can write me email, you can uh, do a lot of stuff at my website. I've got some really funny links, some great things, and you can even watch all my videos there if you want to. What's the website? Well, it's MrGme.com. It's www.mrgme. Dot com, MrGme.com. So I hope you had a great time today making batteries or making a battery out of four lemons and some copper and some zinc. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. terrible. Let's start over. Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. This is the show that... This is the show. All right. That's our, our voice is cracking. And well, what have we got in front of us here? We've got some um, alligator clip or no, some... Uh, what do I want to call these? Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm your show, I'm your show, I'm your show, Mr. G. Lemons hold the key to making electricity. As long as you've got some copper and some zinc and some lemons, you're good to go. Extraordinary, 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 extraordinary.